Hello, visuals. Welcome back to the Visual Guy podcast where me and Chris are sat in my mum's bed looking at a bunch of Lego. We are indeed. Quite literally. Not even taking the piss. Perverts. Yeah. Uh, now, you're the pervert. We've established this with your Lunar Band. Lunar Band. Lunar Band. Lunar Band. Whatever. That was, that was news related. It was. Uh, yeah, this week's podcast is a fun one. We kind of did a versus last week with uh, MCU versus DCU where it was going and shit. Yeah. But there was a topic that came up at work. Uh, they were talking about the atom bomb and, and the hydro bomb and all this kind of shit. Okay. And I started giggling to myself. Why? And they were like, why the fuck are you giggling? I was like, it's just funny because I'm a big massive fan of, of Godzilla and stuff. And in that universe, they only did that bomb to try and kill him. And they were like, you're a fucking weird little bastard. <laughs> I was like, no, honest to God, honest to God. The, the Godzilla stuff's all kicking off. They've got new films coming out. They're doing uh, Godzilla vs. King Kong in this day and age. And this technology is going to be amazing. Yep. And then my mate turned around and said, King Kong would fuck Godzilla. And I was like, whoa! And then we had a nice heated debate at work. Well, not debate, discussion. And because Chris is a big Monsterverse fan. I am. I'm a big Monsterverse fan. You are. We can't wait for future installments. We can't. That was fucking beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> uh, there's no right, right or wrong answer. There's no, we're not going to look at evidence. We're not going to look at facts. Just purely off what we know and what we've seen in the Monsterverse. In the Monsterverse! Who do you think will and would win? Kong. No. Yeah, come, yeah. straight out there. Okay, so before, before you give details, I'm going to agree with Chris. Godzilla wins. But why? He's the bigger, more dominant male. He is, but as far from what we've learned uh, on Skull Island, Kong refused to answer any call that he shouted. Kong was like, nah, I'm saying on my island, go fuck yourself. So he's got a bit of an attitude problem. He, he, well, yeah, but so does... Well, and he has thumbs. Doesn't mean anything. Oh, mate. Try and do anything in life without thumbs. It's okay, I'll get back to that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't, don't worry, I, I still agree no, with you on Godzilla, yeah. but I'm just you, King Kong isn't someone to be... Uh, He's I mean, not. Let's be honest, the film's probably going to play out, they both get the better of each other, they both sort of stalemate, then they need to come together and beat another bad guy. Well, beat yeah. the actual bad guy. That's probably how the guy. film will go out. It will do. It will, it will come out that way. But not, no, that, I, not that it'll be shit. I do think Kong is... You know, Keep simple. Keep saying Kong. I do say Zilla is more the, the the more powerful. With even if it's just, just um, blue fire. Oh. Yeah. Well, let's let's this go through some of the attributes. Um, Kong, I definitely definitely hundred percent gets a point for thumbs. That is actually a big thing. Intelligence. Where who do you reckon? They're both be? intelligent. They're both really intelligent. Right. For the for what we've seen in for in, what we've seen in the films. So what Godzilla did to fucking. The other monsters, and to what Kong did to his monsters. Kong, the, 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 they're both really intelligent. One hundred percent. I hate to give a point, uh, not point, but a way to Kong. Yeah, I do like King Kong. He's fucking awesome. I don't know why I'm, I'm hating it so much. Uh, he used tools. Yeah, but that's chimps. Chimps use tools. Though. Exactly. Uh, he's in a little bit of higher mentality. Got- Fire and exactly, and Little, but lizards strength. are more known for not being very smart. Like, I'm not saying Godzilla is dumb, um, but he's more just I'm big, I'm strong, I'll destroy and charge and attack, 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 attack. Whereas King Kong, from the films that we've seen in the Monsterverse, is a little bit calculated, yeah. Um, but then again, uh, Godzilla r- knows people's weaknesses. He knows what he needs to do. He knows how to beat people. Or, as I say people, but he can easily beat people. Don't just think about that. And other kaijus. Yeah. So, I mean, on the intelligence side, I have no idea where I could really rank it. I'm just going to call it a draw. Okay. Uh, then we go for, for strength. Well, 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 you can't really put them both in an arm wrestling match because... Well, who do you reckon would be able to... Like, do you reckon Kong would be able to lift Godzilla and chuck him? Do you reckon Godzilla would be able to lift Kong and chuck him? Well, Godzilla wouldn't be able to lift Kong. He's got this... Well, his, his arms aren't arms. as T-Rexy. They are a little bit more out there. But he, he's I mean, more sure leg strong, yeah, isn't he? If I'm sure if you whiplashed, it would it'd, it'd go far. Yeah, so that's, that's a point where, where Test Strength then. If he went to whiplash Kong... Uh, with his tail. Do you reckon Kong has enough strength to stop it, uh, catch it and stop him and then maybe swing him about? Because as far as we're aware, at the time of Skull Island, Kong's only a teenager, so by the time we get to this new film, he's bound to have grown up and got a bit mm. bigger. Yeah. But I still think Godzilla will be bigger in the in the thing. He'll still be bigger uh, kaiju. I think Godzilla will be heavier. 
I think it's because he's more leg strong and he can't really get his arms in, but I, I'm going to say Godzilla's stronger. He must be stronger, he surely. Will be stronger. Speed will have to give to King Kong. Yeah, because he's... Yeah, yeah. because Godzilla's proper armoured and he's... Because he'd be much heavier than, than King Kong. So he, he's very armoured. King Kong is quite literally... He just Everything a, a gorilla has... Just give him just a tree bigger. and fucking fly through it. That scene, though, in Skull Island where the helicopters are covered in, it's his eyes and the mm-hmm. flip. It's fucking beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, attributes, like strengths, like you know, like powers and shit, has to go to Godzilla. He can do that a little bit more. Yeah, he's, he can fucking flame on. Yeah, he's, uh, we've seen we've seen Kong re- kind of, not regenerate, but take a lot of damage and sort of thingy. We've seen Godzilla yeah, he, take a lot of damage, yeah. but the fact that he got recharged by a nuclear up. bomb... Yeah. Says something. <laughs> he's got he's got armor. King Kong has fur. fur. Uh, he has his uh, fire breath. He has I don't know how much they'll that more they'll add on, but he, uh, to like his weapons because there is a little bit more. Um, but he's, you could argue his his spikes. He's got spikes on his tail and shit like that. They could play in. Uh, I like they're just more like you said armor than our they ones. are more armor. But I think if he planned it right with his tail, whether he could impale. King Kong, but King Kong for all we know could grab them and start ripping plates apart. He might be strong enough to start peeling back the armor. Because this is going to be that the old Japanese fight where it's King Kong, like Godzilla, drop kicking through the air, and probably. it's it's going to be a lot better. It's going to be probably Ted's like, like imagine they meet head to head. Got King Kong will be able to sort of grab him by his neck or his arm or whatever. And then, like, chuck a couple of punches. But if that close range, if Godzilla's charged up, he'll just blast him in the face. Yeah, he will do. Uh, he'll t- he could swipe out his That's legs it. with his tail. So, I mean, he's got his tail while old Kong has got his, his sister's arms and his feet. So what what do you reckon he'll do? Say if, say if King Kong gets put to the ground by Zilla, Zilla could be on top. But uh, where could he keep him there? Could, Probably could he... not, because obviously there's nothing to keep... Hit. Kong on, on because he, 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 he'd be just like a fucking walrus he would just like Bleh. yeah yeah he would but like, Zilla's where, on top he'd have to try and get a, a blast off got his, ha- his feet and arms and he could like ground and pound and stuff yeah Godzilla could pin him down and if he could keep him there for a split sec he could be able to rip chunks out of him by biting him monkeys in general are just vicious little bastards they are they're fucking scary bastards and, hit they, are face hip, face. and they are fucking strong hmm like we're, we're, I'm not underestimating King Kong whatsoever. I know he's a fucking legit badass. I just can't see a way that he penetrates, not in a weird kaiju sex way, penetrates Zilla's armour or his defence or anything. They'll do damage to each other in their own certain ways. Yeah, 100%. But they'll both just get back up and then just keep fighting. And then I think they'll just get to the point where they'll say, right, we're both fucking strong here. Let's just call it a fucking tyre. <laughs> <laughs> call it a tie but like we're, we're, surely we're going to have to end in a way where one of them has to bow because we can only have one king of the monsters like the last film just fucking stated well, yeah but I don't think they will if it's hmm. anything like fucking I don't know Arnold Schwarzenegger and Vesta Stallone they're both Fucking big blokey guys, but none of them will bow down to each other. Yeah, but they respect mm. each other when it comes to films and stuff like that. But it is a fucking hard one, like. Yeah. But I mean, given what, like, see what Godzilla went up against in the last film. Fair enough, he had a sister to back up with, like Mothra and shit. Do you think if the the tables would change, King Kong could come out and be on top like Godzilla was at the end against fucking Monster Zero, whatever the fuck he's called now? Uh, do you reckon King Kong could have done that? I don't know. I probably not. Do you not think? No, it's just there's something about Godzilla that it just made seems him more, yeah. fucking who he is, and he is the king of all monsters. He's yeah. That's I just can't get my head around anything really doing major damage. Like Kong, if he got hit with that crazy electric shit from from Monster Zero, he's just again just flesh and fur and bone. I mean, at a bigger, higher density. Don't get it wrong, but I think in it, in it comes in the long run. I think Godzilla will come out on top. Just I think Godzilla will just say, "Look, right, okay, then you are a bit stronger than me. You are heavier than me. You, you, you might fair enough. 
I'll bow down to you. That's what I would love to. if he actually said that in the film. Like, okay, he just sits down and gets all smart. Okay, you are very strong. You're very, very <laughs> strong. Big lizard. Um, I think it will come to that where Godzilla, uh, King Kong will just bow down to Godzilla and say, right, okay then, you're king of monsters. I'll just help you protect the planet. Mm, just in my own way. Yeah, I'll just be on my island. Let me chill. Yeah. Uh, another thing. Oh, it was, it was, uh, it was Rayquaza. Another thing is, um, if if it somehow gets taken to the water, surely that's Godzilla all day. Well, yeah, that's Godzilla in a vanity because it's a lizard. Yeah, but I know, don't get me wrong. I know that Godzilla will still be slower moving and stuff in, in the water and stuff like that. But if he takes, because we know that it can go down there for a while, if he takes Kong deep down, Kong could drown. Yeah, it'd, it'd be fucked eventually. Hmm. Yeah, it'd be fu- it'd be absolutely fucked. Well, um, lizards can breathe underwater for about half an hour. But I really do That's think, just yeah, normal lizards. I really do think we'll see a moment where Zilla's fucking up Kong, and Kong resorts to uh, to some sort of uh, I don't know, is there a shipyard or there it's somewhere, and he's using different uh, yeah. things to help him in the battle. Like he may, for all we know, he could make himself some sort of weird makeshift shield he could to do. blast against the beams and shit. Because we've seen him use. Um, the, uh, against the thing he used the chain, didn't he? The yeah. uh, the anchor. Mm-hmm. He's doing all that kind of shit. I like say Kong could because he, he doesn't see why he can't. Yeah, I mean, what, well, I don't know what what object, man made object, you could use which would be a big enough shield for Kong. He could pick right. up a boat. Suppose. Yeah, some kind of bow or <laughs> something, and he could just blast it away. But Godzilla physically as well, he wouldn't be able to just sit and chuck shit. Whereas Godzilla, like if he he can have like a a, I don't know, a lot of cars or some shit, he and could. he could just. Just chuck loads at them. Yeah. And that, obviously they're not going to do major damage, but they're still distractions coming his way. As they're coming his way, Kong's charging, boom, take down, ground and pound. And then Godzilla is a, definitely a little bit more slow moving. He's on the floor, he's on his back. He, his tail would definitely have to come into play there. His tail would come into play there, yeah. Because um, he would probably just like, whiplash him or something. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fucking, I said that, that one absolutely wreck Kong. It would hurt getting whipped. Because again, it's just, I know there's fur there, but it. Oh. Even li- getting whipped off of a little is it hurts. Well, I Chris will know he's had one. Had them. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. It hurts. It's bound to be Godzilla all day. I think, God, yeah, I, I do think Godzilla will come out on top. But like I said, we've got to guarantee both of them are going to survive because Zilla has a third film, you said, on the way. Kong has a second film on the way. Yep. Uh, there's a Mecha Godzilla film, yep. which means it has to be Mecha Godzilla versus Godzilla. That'd be quite cool if Kong comes to the aid of Godzilla against Mecha Godzilla. We've had a lot of films mm-hmm. coming out over the last couple of years. Did you say? Did you say there's a Mothra and it's a, a Mothra. Uh, the volcano fucker? Yeah, that guy. Uh, uh, Rodan. Rodan. And yeah, you said he's got a film. Um... And then you got King of All Monsters, and then All Monsters Must Die, and All Monsters Must Die Bar 2. Yeah, you can just like an Avengers Infinity War game thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, Sorry, I just had to get that one out there. We had this talk, and I was like, I need to speak to Chris about this. I oh, personally think that Godzilla will come out on top eventually. And I also. Without, he'll have his scars, he'll have the battle of his fucking life, but I'm saying Godzilla. Well, they'll both just retire in their own little corners. <laughs> Yeah, they've got a fucking coach each. I'm a million years old. Pat them down. <laughs> I'm a million years old. Like, I'm fucking old as shit. Yeah. Well, not that no, King Kong isn't. Because like I said, he's a teenager. His parents got killed off. That's another thing. I don't know, the age will play into this. Godzilla's just everlasting. But again, there's been some variations where Godzilla's do reproduce and blah, blah, blah. But as far as we're aware, this is the one and only Godzilla. He's just him throughout time. Whereas God, uh, King Kong... Does have a yeah, he might come into this film whatsoever. It was set in the 70s, 80s. Something like that, yeah. Because it was, no, it could have been you know, early, late 60s, early 70s, because it's aren't Sam Jackson that coming back from Vietnam. Yes. So, say, so it's just say it's early 70s. We've got 70s, and you've got the 80s, the 90s, the early 2000s. C- King Kong could be about 50 odd year old in this. And that might not mean shitloads in terms of kaiju age. Maybe they live to 150. <laughs> but, I mean, or if they just live to 100, there's potential that he's he's getting on a bit. And how old's Godzilla? Godzilla's, from what we can tell in that the last film, he's fucking hundreds of thousands of years old because his old aztec sort of people yeah. fucking doing tributes I mean, and shit to he's, him. Get, he's getting old. 
So he's getting old, but does he ever really get old? I don't know. Everyone gets old. It's crazy because he is the natural balance. He's what keeps order. It's basically like the earth was was designed for him. Yeah, just I mean, to protect. If, if, if he just like if the earth stopped, stopped, mm. all hell would break loose. Yeah. So if he just like died, died off, all hell would break loose because he brings order. So yeah. Fucking mid. Anyway, yes, definitely let us know in the comments below who you think would win. Is it are you team Godzilla, team King Kong? I'm technically both teamed, but if I had to I pick Godzilla. Godzilla. Yeah, and I think Godzilla would win. But I think we could both agree neither of them are really gonna win. They're both gonna fuck each other up and yeah. it'd have to be yeah, a different bad same guy. Team, yeah. Unless we're completely wrong and the film is a certain a dominant main kaiju to go forward in the future. Maybe. It might end up like this. Maybe, but who? We'll see. I can't wait for it. Uh, November. It's weird how he's got a... October? Uh, November. November. It's November. weird how he's got a girlfriend as a moth. As a it's his little side piece. Lizards eat moths. Fuck it. Wow, not this moth. <laughs> She's a fucking legit badass. Uh, yes, visuals. Let us know in the comments below. But uh, thank you for listening to the, the Godzilla vs. King Kong yes. podcast. Um, yeah. Remember to always keep being you and keep on smashing on. And... Rawr. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what. Keep, no. keep roaring on. Keep roaring on. Keep in you. Keep on keeping on. Yeah, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, bye. Oh, I really didn't go.